Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's topic, we will discuss working of PMG. My previous video on PMG had very bad sound quality. I was getting continuous comments on my video about it. So I thought let's make a new video with better sound quality. So basically we will take Stamford alternator as our example to discuss the working and other features of PMG. So basically we are going to cover up four topics in this video. So number one, how PMG looks like. What is the PMG hardware all about? Second, why PMG is required in an alternator? What is its use? What is its purpose to be fitted in any alternator? Third, PMG connections on AVR. How the PMG wire are connected to, uh, to the AVR? And the fourth and the last one, how is PMG installed on an alternator? So all these topics will be considered will be discussed considering Stamford alternator. So let's begin. Starting with the first topic, how PMG looks like. The permanent magnet generator or PMG is as good as a small alternator which generates voltage. In short, we can say PMG's main function is to generate voltage. PMG consists of two elements, mainly wound stator and magnetic rotor. Its wound stator is very similar in construction with any three-phase alternator stator winding, wherein three leads are taken out. In case of PMG, we have P2, P3 and P4 leads coming out. Motors. PMG's output is given to P2, P3, P4 leads. Now talking about PMG's rotor or we can say its magnetic rotor. Rotor is made up of laminated core and mild steel. The main difference in PMG's rotor construction are the magnetic strips inserted inside its metal body. This magnets form its poles. This magnetic poles when rotated inside wound stator generates voltage across P2, P3 and P4 leads. These leads then are connected to our AVR. So hence let's continue with the second topic how to connect PMG to our AVR. In Stamford when PMG is used the AVR which we have to select is MX321. So now let's see how this connection is done. If anyone does not know why AVR is used in alternators then please check out my videos on AVR. I will give link in i button. So when we flip our AVR on the back side we have all the pin descriptions. We can see different pins written on the description F1, F2, 7 and 8 and from left to the right we have P2, P3 and P4. We need to connect out three wires from the PMG that is P2, P3, P4 pins on MX321 AVR. This is as simple as that. Just connect the three pins on the AVR and the AVR and the PMG will work together. I hope you have understood these two topics. So now let's move on to the most important topic of why we use PMG in alternators. I request you to continue watching further only if you know working of AVR. Because unless we know the working of AVR, we won't be able to understand why PMG is important. So coming back to the topic, let's learn the function of AVR with an, the help of an example. The main job of AVR is to maintain steady and uninterrupted terminal voltage by working together with all the other components. That's the reason why AVR is called heart and brain of alternator. To perform this, 
AVR has to have a steady operating voltage. In most of the application where there is jerk loading that is when alternators are used in place where load is increased and decreased within short span of time. It's very difficult to maintain a steady terminal voltage. That's when PMG comes into picture. In other words, PMG supplies operating voltage to the AVR. Basically, there are three ways to give operating voltage to AVR. One, from main terminal of alternator, that is your RYB. Number two, operating voltage through auxiliary winding. And number three, PMG or permanent magnet generator. So PMG is designed in such a way that it generates around 170 volt AC at RPM as low as 800 revolutions per minute. Generally, any alternator will trip at such a low, uh, such a low RPM. So let's consider we have a AVR which takes its operating voltage from main terminal of alternator that is RYB. So we have 415 volt at 1500 RPM. This is just an example. So at the time of jerk loading our engine RPM will drop from 1500 revolutions to 1400. So drop in RPM will lead to drop in our terminal voltage. So now our operating voltage to AVR will drop up to 380 volt. This is just an example uh, for our understanding. So considering that our RPM has uh, from 1500 to 1400. So let's consider that our terminal voltage has also dropped from 415 volt to 380 volt. So now this will be sensed by our AVR and AVR will try to correct it and will take few seconds. In real life application, this continuous fluctuation in operating voltage will hamper our AVR and our terminal voltage also. To prevent this, we need a power supply which supplies operating voltage to the AVR at a very low RPMs. This full process looks very simple and we can just think on it that why is it really important in our lives. But yes, it is very important. I can tell you with a very small example. If there is any alternator and it has been used in a music festival, at the time of a music festival. So just imagine when the show is going on and you experience a lag in the music and the lag in the music was generated because there was a lag in the voltage generation which is in turn due to the drop in the RPM. So the constant lagging of the engine and then the voltage because of the engine and ultimately the sound quality this total experience will be so disastrous that the listener will very easily lose interest in the music show. So this is just an example of a music show. So in practical life, this is very important. It's very important for an alternator to give steady output. And for steady output, you require a steady working AVR. So friends, this PMG function looks very easy, but it has very, very great practical use in our daily lives. So now moving to the last topic, how we fit PMG in our alternators. So, so friends, here you can see a technician, a skilled technician 
he is installing a PMG on the ND side, non drive end side of an alternator. So, this is a very skilled job as uh, the rotor magnets are very powerful, as you can see, those are very powerful and they tend to pull the uh, stator winding towards them. So, this is a very delicate job and has to be done only by a practiced technician. So friends, I hope you understood the topic and the whole purpose of using PMG in our alternators. If you like the video, please leave a comment below. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.